Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So the day has come, we have finally arrived at the LSM Hero arriving in Eternal Crusade. The actual campaign finished last week and I've got to say it was a terrible experience for someone who plays LSM all the time for myself. The queues were atrocious, I'm not going to go into all that though. This video is going to be dedicated to the brand new patch which has just dropped today. It's 436 meg if I'm not mistaken. Uh, just come out uh, about I think 35 minutes ago. So we're going to jump in, I'm going to show off the awesome damn legionnaire and please tell me what you think. So let's jump in and let's get started. And here we are with the damned Legion Air. He is, well, he, he costs 25,000 RTC, so that's close to, what, $25, let's say? So again, these this skin is not cheap, though I must say, from the stats that I'm seeing and some of the feedback which I've been seeing on the uh, test service, that this hero is going to be the most dangerous hero that is out so far. Not just because he's a damn legionnaire, because his actual bolt gun itself fires fire rounds and it puts a fire effect on uh, enemies. I'll spot. I'll speak about that later on. But for now, what we're going to do, we're just going to. I'm going to attempt to try and show you off his skin. So let me see if I can uh, just go here and put him over here. And here you go. So this is the damned uh, legionnaire skin right here. As you can see, it's got the fire effect all over him. He's got like. I think it's skin or something around his thigh with like markings on it or something cool like that. There's there's a couple of things that I don't like about this skin. First thing, the face. The face to me, I don't I don't know why it doesn't seem very skullish. I know it's got like the you know the this the actual skull hue and stuff like that, but it doesn't scream a skull. I I think I would like a more of a. I think it's the mouth to me which is. Uh, not very skullish, um, but yeah, I hopefully they'll change that. I know Nathan actually spoke about changing it, uh, about the something about the mesh and stuff is going to be worked on. So hopefully we'll have that soon. And as you can see the shoulder pads here now. You have the three D kind of fire effects as you can see, which is coming up and burning off. But there's a two D fire effect where it goes from red to a little bit of yellow at the top. Now for me, I think that is very, very, very bad. <laughs> I think it's very amateurish. Uh, it doesn't go with the armor for me at all. It doesn't even look like a fire. It, it looks like someone's got, got into like Photoshop for a couple of t seconds and just done like a, a gradient tool and just, okay, that looks good. Do it. That doesn't, for me, doesn't look uh, good at all. But as you see now on the screen, uh, this is the art and it's close to the art. I, f I think it looks good. Of course, the bolt is not uh, a Legion of the Dam Bottler at all, which again, uh, I'm, I'm I'm sure they're working on. You can see like at the loincloth, he's got the little skulls and stuff there. All in all, I think it, you know, it's probably the second, my second favourite hero skin. The first is still the Orc. The Orc for me is definitely my favourite uh, uh, hero skin so far, the uh, actual Orc Commando. But right, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show off uh, the fire effect it does on the target. So I'm just going to move myself over to... Uh, that area and we shall test that out okay so here we are i'm just gonna test this out on the this target here as you can see here it's got a dot of 10 so i shoot it and then it'll have a 10. so it does put a, f a burning effect on the target when you actually shoot it in fact to test on this uh, live target here now watch this oh that guy actually killed it for me thank you mr chaos marine oh it's a dark angel just kidding. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, it, de it definitely has got a fire effect. Uh, if, if I actually shoot the gun, you, c you can actually see the fire coming out the gun. So, you know, that is uh, definitely there. Uh, let me see if it does anything when I actually melee it. I won't, I, won't, I won't actually use that target. I'll use this guy over here. So, no, we haven't got anything and we haven't even got like oh no yes we have we've got a nice fancy combat blade well i think that's new i, haven't, I don't think i've saw that before so maybe the combat blade's new in this guy i do like uh the jagged effect near the near the butt of it that's very very nice let's uh kill this guy here actually let me just test if the bolt pistol fires fire it does so the bolt pistol also fires uh fire rounds as well and that went down very very fast okay this guy yes so this guy he's definitely going to be uh, very, very, very difficult to go against and uh, uh, deal with on the battlefield. Like I said before, I think this is going to be 
uh, the strongest hero unit to date. Um, maybe the Eldar one will surpass that in some way, but for now, I'm going to call this and say this this this, this guy's going to be very very difficult uh, to play against. Uh, definitely when he can put the uh, the burning effect. If you think you're shooting. Uh, uh, an enemy with a full full auto you're doing the damage from the bolt gun uh, sorry from the actual bolter and plus the fire damage per bullet on top of that so if you don't kill him then the fire effect may just burn him down so you eventually get the kill so you know it's it's one of them things where these, these like I keep saying these these guys are going to be very very uh, devastating um if they had to actually change anything on this marine it'd definitely be the 2d fire effect uh, which has uh, been Coloured on, you can like I said, you can just see it there. You can also see it like on the bottom of his legs and stuff. Uh, the, obviously, the bolter is not Legion of the Damned at all. It's just a standard bolter. Hopefully, they'll fix that very, very, very soon. But all in all, um, I'm happy with it. I am. I am happy. Again, the only disadvantage to this guys, and I know everyone complains about it, and I'm with you. I'm. I am in the same boat as you guys. Is that these things are too expensive. 25,000 RTC. I'm sorry, that is far too expensive. The price needs to come down. I, I I don't know who's in charge of this. I don't know what's going on. But the price for me is far, far too expensive at the moment. Uh, and I think that's scaring a lot of people off. You know, when, when we're trying to get new people to come to this game and they're seeing the prices of 25,000 RTC, basically for a skin. Let's just call it a skin because that's what it is. It's a skin. So, you know, stuff like that is just... I, I don't really want to see that in the game, to be completely fair. I'm I'm all for uh, customization and, you know, paying for it because obviously the the developers need to win a revenue and we want to look cool. So I have no problem with that. It's just the pricing. The pricing for me is far too high for these chaps. Okay, so that is going to be it for me. I would like to go through the actual full patch, but at this moment in time, there's no patch notes out. So uh, when they do come out, I will edit this. Uh, well, I would edit. I will edit. Edit, ugh, I will edit, edit, oh, I can't even speak today. I will edit the link in, in the description and uh, I will uh, put the full patch notes down there for you chaps to go read. But for now, all that I can find is new is this new awesome damn legionnaire. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave me feedback on how you feel about this guy. I would love to know what the community thinks about him. Um, and yeah, we can have a nice, healthy discussion. So, thanks, chaps. See you now and have a great weekend. Bye bye.